Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. We are going to cycling. Mom is coming. So she's meeting me here, and then we're going to drive together. I'm in my cycling sneakers, and today is going to get up to 65 degrees. So this is the jacket that I'm wearing. Mom and I are going to go gallivanting after, so I'm going to bring some regular sneakers. These are my cycling shoes because they have, like, metal on the bottom so i don't really like to walk in them if i don't have to but i can so i wear them to and from the gym but if i know i'm going out after i'll change them got my phone my water <gasps> Oops, I washed my hair last night and I left it wet in a bun, so that's gonna be a very nice surprise today. I'm wearing Fabulous leggings and a Walmart tank top. That's the fit. Let's go. It's kind of a misty 65, but I will take it. Well, well, well. Look where we ended up. This is gonna be our new thing. What? That's so rude. <laughs> I feel like Panera is gonna become our spot, huh? Why not? Right? So good. And Zane doesn't like flight. it, so I don't even go with Zane. <laughs> Sign into my parent. Hello. You want the hamper salad, you have tuna salad sandwich, or has it here? No, it's already in it? Yeah. The hell out of here. Yes. I can start. That's Mom. Funny. I can name it. Mom. <laughs> yeah, it's order. <laughs> half Asian salad, half Mediterranean veggie. There you go. I just you. want to see something really quick. I want to see if I maybe I want to try a different sandwich. Because it was good, but not life-changing. I loved that salad though. Definitely will get that again. Yeah, I actually think I'm gonna try this one instead. Turkey? No, it's like chicken salad. Oh. Oh. So I have an opposite. Oh, oh why? <laughs> Mom got the same thing she got last time. Tuna sandwich and Greek salad. I got the same salad I got last time. The Asian sesame salad. It's so good. And then I am trying the... I might have had this before actually. Chicken salad with almonds. Kind of like how I made at home with like lettuce and stuff. Looks delish. Mom's getting us water cups also. I was just saying to her, it is so peaceful in here. I want to bring my laptop and work here. It'd be so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Trader Joe's hose. First thing is my eucalyptus is dying in the shower and I absolutely love it. So we're gonna replenish her. Oh, it's so tiny. Why is it so small? The other bunch I got was massive. Huh. Dunkers. <laughs> oh, I gotta get the little chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yeah, I thought that it was a bigger bunch last time. Okay, that's fine. Okay, moving on. I need arugula. Okay. If you know, you know. Gotta get my favorite cheese. This is already adding up to more than we said we were getting. Now this. This is what we came for. <laughs> Sourdough bread, baby. Just one. Yes, ma'am the best you already know you already know yes ma'am and also these yes ma'am and them? also these for zane okay hey i didn't do terrible i fit it all in one bag okay <laughs> it's like overflowing trader joe's haul are we ready of course we have to get the staples obsessed with these hold on let me get a light wow she's a professional i got some fresh eucalyptus for our shower ours is like getting crispy she's on the verge of going out so i decided to get a fresh one it actually works because i really only go to trader joe's like every few weeks i'm pretty sure it's only lasts for like four weeks so it's a must you guys and if you get this you have to keep it in your fridge because it goes bad really really fast and in the fridge it stays really nice but it is the best sourdough it's so good got some arugula i think for lunches this week we're going to do sandwiches with the sourdough i forgot to go get cold cuts though but i have to go to the deli and get that but definitely need some arugula this is like a bad addiction every time i go to trader joe's i try one of their raviolis and this time we're trying the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato i don't know if i've ever tried this one before but i love goat cheese and i love sun-dried tomatoes so we needed crumbled goat cheese this reminds me of like a crumbled feta but i love goat cheese so i'm excited to try this i've only had goat cheese in like a block so i feel like this is really gonna be convenient for like salads and such i I am obsessed with these they are so good and I just ran out so it's perfect this is new it reminded me of like that salad dressing that you get at hibachi it's like a ginger dressing this is a carrot ginger miso dressing so I feel like it looks and sounded similar and it's pretty low calorie oh it smells delish definitely smells a little more gingery than the restaurant and looks a little bit more thick but we're gonna try that out I think it actually just needs to be shaken up a little bit more it looks more liquidy at the bottom okay anyways really excited about this I wonder if it has sesame in it it doesn't you can try this too, babe. What is this? Carrot ginger miso dressing. I feel like we don't have like good dressings and we like salads, so. Of course I had to hook him up. Yes. <laughs> 
These are Zane's favorite veggie burgers. I actually need to try these. I've never tried one. I'd probably like it if you like it. I mean, I definitely like it more for the protein than I do the taste. Right, and she's convenient. It's convenient. Yeah. They did not have our burrata prosciutto arugula flatbread that we usually get, so I decided to try this one. I love having this frozen stuff in the freezer. It's so helpful when we need something in a pinch. Uh, mushroom and black truffle. Yum. Zane loves these too, so I got him some chicken breakfast sausages. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> we can air fry these. And then some frozen stuff. Sweet potato gnocchi, one of my faves. The frozen brown rice, I am now a huge fan. It is so easy and it is so yummy. Mini chicken cilantro wontons. I love these as well. Literally, you can just microwave them. They're such a good, easy snack. This is new. I've never seen this before. Stuffed gnocchi. It's stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. So I thought that those would be yummy to try. These I've never had before. I feel like every time I go to Trader Joe's, I have to try something new. Organic veggie bites. Kind of like tater tots, but with some vegetables in them. And like, I can dip them in a sauce. I feel like they're kind of right up my alley. And and lastly, I stocked up on some almond butter. I've actually never had crunchy almond butter. I usually get the smooth one, but we were feeling frisky today. So we got one with the crunchies in it. I love texture, so I think if I put this on like toast or something, I will like the crunch. And then our favorite cheese, the cheddar and gruyere. I just tried this up and we keep it in the fridge in like a little lock and lock. And we use it on so many different things. It's delish. And that's everything that I got. It is so stunning outside. I'm thriving. I am just watching the rest of my YouTube video so that I can upload it and make the thumbnail because that needs to go up. Are you kidding me? I love it. Veggie? Taking advantage of this pretty nice weather that we're having, my cousin Natalie and I are going to go on a walk at a little park. I have a chill today though that I can't shake, so I kind of bundled a little bit. I've got on a big hoodie and my Levi's Sherpa jacket. I still have to shower from the gym, so I'm still in my workout leggings, and I just put on these sneakers. It's been raining and stuff, so it's pretty muddy, so I'm wearing black sneakers so that they don't get all nasty. Hopefully, I don't have chilly ankles, and I think once I start walking, I'll feel better. <laughs> But I haven't seen that in a while, so I'm excited to just like catch up and go on a nice walk. It'll be nice and enjoy the weather. Hopefully the sun comes out. <laughs> I'm definitely not looking my hottest today, but you guys have seen me worse, so it's fine. Um, just got back from our walk. We actually went in like a little like park trail area and then it started to get dark, so we ended up going to like a track because they have like the lights, you know? It was so nice. I just love Nat. Like, does anybody else have that cousin that you can just like talk to about anything? Like whenever you're together, it's just good like vent sessions and you just feel like so comfortable with them. I feel like having a cousin best friend is like the best thing ever. So if you guys can relate, like if you know, you know. I just always feel so good after hanging out with her. But anyways, I just got home and I'm doing a brand deal with like a company that has to do with food. So I literally just got the biggest box full of frozen meat. <laughs> there must have been some miscommunication because I thought it was supposed to come in March. And you guys know I literally went to Trader Joe's today. Look at my freezer. Look at it. Where am I gonna fit all of this? We're gonna need to do some reorganizing. Oh my God. I mean like just full. Alrighty, we had a HelloFresh meal left, so quick and easy dinner. I am making the chicken tikka masala. I've got the rice going in the pot. We've got the pan heating. I just cut up two Roma tomatoes, a large onion, and a bunch of cilantro. Here's the ingredients for the four-person meal. This is not sponsored, but I will put my code down below if you guys are interested. <laughs> so we're getting a microwave-safe bowl, putting our onions in here. Came with these cute little white wine vinegars. We're going to use one of them in this bowl. We're pickling the onion and making a chutney. Your rice timer is up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you good? No! Stop! All of you! Just bash my face with the freaking sugar. Ow! Oh. One teaspoon of sugar. Almost murdered me. Two teaspoons of water is going in here, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Cover and microwave for 30 seconds. We've got our chicken sliced up. Curry powder. Okay, I had my pan preheating for a while, so it definitely needs a little bit more oil. And we're doing salt and pepper. Okay, five minutes, starting now. 
In another bowl, we've got our mango, and we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of sugar. The other little thing of vinegar. Give that a little mix. Microwave for 25 seconds. Then we've got half of our chopped cilantro going in, and our Dijon mustard. Combine that all together, and we're gonna mash the mangoes a little bit. Beautiful. Setting it aside. Chicken is cooked. We're now gonna add in our tomato and our curry sauce base. All right, four minutes, and that's starting now. All right, we've got the setup. These are like our designated HelloFresh containers. This is what we eat our servings now with, and then this is what I pack up the other <laughs> servings with. We've got our mango chutney, we've got the pickled onions, and then we've got our rice and our yogurt to drizzle on top. I just turned off the heat on the chicken. It is all simmered and done. And we've got our cilantro to top with. So I think we're ready to plate. Here it is, this is the final product. It doesn't look that pretty, but it smells divine. For our leftovers, um, I'm leaving this off because I don't want it to be heated when we microwave this. And then I'm just gonna put our little yogurts on the side. Let me do that, that'd be cute. <laughs> little lunch box. I'm gonna watch some Love is Blind and enjoy this. <laughs> Entre la luna y el sol, pega siento calor, yeah, yeah. Como una historia pa' que me deslice. Que me deslice. Y el deslizado soy yo, como haciendo el amor, yeah, yeah. Es que estoy puesto pa' ti. Well, hello, everybody. Um, I've kind of been a bad vlogger the last few days. I'm not gonna lie. I started this on Wednesday, which you guys saw my day, and then I ended up just showering and going to bed. My intent Wednesday was to get ready and like vlog more, but I never did. And then my intent Thursday was to also get ready and vlog a little bit more, but I ended up having like a lazy day. We recorded the podcast and we did our favorites of the month, and I was talking about how I was loving my yogurt bowls, and then Jerry was talking about how she loved the show Married at First Sight, and so we ended up eating yogurt bowls and watching Married at First Sight. And then I worked on another project that I don't want to speak out loud like too much But I would say that you guys will see within the next two to three months Hopefully sooner, but I'll say that timeline But I got to work on that yesterday it's, it's been hard to balance so many things that I want to work on I will say though I'm kind of glad that I took yesterday to not vlog Because I was just going to get ready just to film for you guys And I feel like that's not real Like I was like I'm going to get ready and just like try to do like filler content when I'd rather work on other things. So that's what I did yesterday. Then this morning, my mom and I went to the gym, took a nice shower, made myself some breakfast, and got ready. So I have some updates for you. Um, if you listen to the podcast, you might've heard some of this. I'm not sure if the episode's out yet. But anyways, I was craving like a warm vacation and it just came to fruition that my sister had a change around her flights for a concert that we had. Anyways, long story short, I am going to see her. I just booked it a few days ago and I am so excited. So if you didn't know, my sister moved to Houston, Houston area, and I just wanna go somewhere warmer for a few days and obviously it'd be so nice to see my sister. She just kept coming here, so I haven't had the chance to go there. So finally, we've had like a lull in her coming to New York. So I'm like, I'm coming to you. I'm literally just going for a few nights, but I'm so excited to have like a little getaway with my sister. It's perfect. We're gonna do like a little beachy area for a night. We got a hotel and then I'm gonna explore Houston. So get excited for those vlogs. I am so, so excited to travel. I feel like it's been so long since I went somewhere like not like driving distance, like a vacation vacation, like on a plane. It's been a long time. So I am so excited for that. And something that goes along with it is I'm gonna try to start reading you guys. I ordered my first books. I say first books because I ordered like a trilogy. First one's called Winter in Paradise. The second one called like, it's something like that. I should probably just tell you, hold on. So I don't know how to pronounce this author. Ellen Hildebrand or Eileen or Elin? I would assume that it's Ellen. Ellen Hildebrand. It's a trilogy, Winter in Paradise, What Happens in Paradise, and Troubles in Paradise. I know also Colleen Hoover is huge as well, so I definitely wanna get into her too. Um, as you guys saw, I went and hung out with my cousin too, and she's super into books, and we literally like live around the block. So now we get to like share books, so I'm so excited I'm gonna steal from her, cause she has like all the Colleen Hoover books. But I don't know, I'm just excited. Uh, if you listen to the podcast, then this might be a little repetitive, but I just feel like I needed like a little like offline hobby like this because my original thought was going on a warm vacation. I'm like, I 
enjoy like relaxing on the beach but i also do get bored like i don't want to just sit there with headphones in and listen to a podcast and i don't want to sit on my phone like that's like not the point of a vacation and i'm like i envy people that can just sit on the beach and read a book and then i was like Alyssa, you can do that like try you know and i always thought in my head because of school when we would get forced to read books that i'm just like not into it or i can only read like you know like self-helpy kind of books but i think that now i'm older and and you know, now I like different TV shows and I think that I would be into the storyline modern day books. So I'm very, very excited for this new chapter. I feel like it's gonna expand me, you know? And I feel like it's a really good hobby for me to pick up because if I'm not at the gym, I am working on my brand and I don't think that that's healthy. <laughs> so it's like, I'm either at the gym or working on YouTube or TikToks or Instagram or podcast or the other project that I'm working on. And there's just, it's either editing or filming. And I feel like I need to live my life for me like some moments instead of living it all for this because like this can go away. And then like, who is she, you know? That was like deep, but that's kind of my thought process. So I'm really excited to get into reading. Like I said, I'm gonna start with these and then get into like some Colleen Hoover But if you guys want to leave your recs or favorite books, let me know. I also went and ordered bookmarks <laughs> We're already getting crazy. I don't know. I'm just excited about it I feel like it's gonna open like a new thing for me. I think it's gonna be good for me So that's some exciting updates that I wanted to share with you. I'll be going to Texas like mid-March So get excited. I will definitely vlog little vacation vlog. I'm so pumped. Any hoozy, um, I've accumulated a few packages that I figured I would share slash unbox. Some of them I've already opened, but I feel like I haven't done like any like unboxings or like showing you what I've recently purchased. So I feel like it's due. One being good old Lululemon. I have opened this, but I haven't like opened, opened it. Zane got me something for Christmas and they ended up like discontinuing it and not having my size. So I got a gift card. So I went online and I got something now, which actually would be perfect for my trip. I got a, just a scrunchie because I was like, I don't have any like nice, nice scrunchies. And I feel like, I don't know. I had extra money on my gift card. And I was like, if I leave this money on my gift card, I will buy another pair of Lulus that I don't need. So let me get an $8 scrunchie, <laughs> even though there's still like $3 left on my gift card, so it's still dangerous. That's how my mind works. I'll be like, well, I have $3 on here. I might as well get something else. I don't have Lululemon biker shorts, so I figured I would uh, get a pair for myself. These are the Align shorts in the eight inch. You know, I'm a two in their Aligns, but these feel kind of stiffer. We'll see, we'll try them on. But I love my biker shorts in the warm weather. I actually am probably gonna bring these to Texas. Biker shorts are my go-to. And a lot of mine are like athletic, like I wear them to work out. And I feel like a line material, I wear like loungy slash like styling it. So I'm excited about these. I'm excited about this scrunchie too. I know that sounds so dumb, but it's like, it's nice to have a nice scrunchie. Mine are all like cheap, cheap scrunchies that are like stretching out. <laughs> Okay, next up is Soma. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know I'm obsessed with Soma. They were having a $25 bra sale and that was very dangerous to pop up in my email. So I bought four bras and it came with a $5 undie that I got because I was like, let me try their undies. Anyways, every single thing that I got is completely wireless and I am a D and I'm obsessed. Like literally Soma needs to sponsor me for how much I advocate for them. I've had people in my personal life buy them and love them. I've had you guys message me saying that you love them. So I mean it. Okay, this first one is the strapless, but it does come with a strap, which is actually really nice um, if you ever need it. But this is the Bliss Wireless. I have this in nude, so I got it in black. Even if they're not on sale for $25, they're like, I think maybe 60 at most, which is, in my opinion, like I would pay $100 for these bras. I'm not even kidding. They're so good. For being wireless, like I've worn the nude one multiple times now and it stays up so comfortably. So I will link these all down below in order of how I'm talking about them so you know what's what. This next one I have in black and nude. So I figured I'd get it in white because Alyssa saw a sale and she can't stop. This is also wireless. This is just a regular bra, not the strapless one. It's got this like extra layer in in the front so it like really holds you up obsessed so comfortable and butter like buttery soft can i help you hmm? this is the thong that i'm trying it's called the actually it's the same material as the bras that i got the endless that's my favorite one from them not that i've tried many others but i was like oh my god the material is so good i bet the underwear are so comfortable oh yes and I got this in a medium. 
Actually, I'm glad I did because they don't feel super duper stretchy up top. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Okay, cool. These last two I've never tried, but it's the same like collection. I have a lot of nude and black underwear, but like, I mean like, not like underwear, like underwear to wear under your clothes. I don't have a lot of white, so that's why I grabbed this one as well. It's just a simple like bralette. This material is so good. It's got the little padding in it, no wire. It's just like a comfortable piece. I thought this would be good for the summer under shirt whatever i got this in a medium by the way and it looks like a great size so this is the in bliss i wish i knew how to pronounce it because that's embarrassing and bliss this is the bandeau in black i thought this would be useful for certain outfits i got this in a medium as well and it feels so nice next we have a little bit of pr this one is so exciting look at this you guys Oh my god. I am obsessed with their dark tanning drops. I put it in my moisturizer to tan my face all the time. And they messaged me on Instagram asking to send me some stuff. And I was like, this is so cool because I like literally use your stuff all the time. So let's see what they sent. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Oh, look at that. Okay, so these are the face drops that I use. If you watch my videos, this may look familiar to you. Now I have a backup. I got one for Christmas too. They sent a little mitt and I've actually wanted to try this. This is a cell tanning water. You spray it on and rub it in. I believe so, let me see. Yeah, you spray it on and then blend with a mitt. And then it develops in four to six hours. It actually doesn't even say that I have to rinse, I don't think. Huh. I will be trying this out and letting you guys know what I think of it. These I'm obsessed with. Literally, I keep like a little makeup brush by my bedside. I'll pump some moisturizer onto the brush put like some drops of this in there and rub it on my face so I don't even have to wash my hands. I use a makeup brush, life hack. So, so exciting. So thank you, Isle of Paradise. Literally, love you so much. Next up, we've got some PR from Revlon, which is so cool that I'm on their PR list. These are full coverage matte lip colors. Ooh. Oh, oh it looks like colored pencils or markers. Oh, these are like all shades that I would use too. <gasps> Pretty, look at those. This one looks like it would be, oh, maybe this one's more brown. Oh, I'm excited to mess with these. Fun. What is this? Oh my God, crayons? Oh, they actually sent like real crayons because it's supposed to look like markers. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, it's a coloring book. That's adorable. It's got like pages in it to color. That is cute. I'm like, why did they just randomly send crayons? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you guys the breakfast that I had this morning. I tried the goat cheese that I showed you guys from Trader Joe's on my toast. I did like a sweet side and then like a salty side with like eggs and avocado. It was so good. We love a crumble goat cheese. We'll be purchasing again. Lastly, this is something that I ordered from Amazon. Ah, wow. So if you guys saw for Christmas, Zane got me a Polaroid camera, but that was my bad. I wanted like the, the Fujifilm like mini Polaroid camera and he got me like a real big Polaroid camera. And really I want to take this with me when I like travel and I just want it to be more convenient. So I'm going to be selling that one. I'll probably end up putting it on Poshmark. So if you guys are interested, go check out my Poshmark. I'll sell that camera over there. So I bought myself a white little mini one it's just more convenient and my sister got me a like um photo album and it doesn't fit like the bigger photos so i got this bundle on amazon it came with a carrying case came with a bunch of film and while i was deciding it went on sale and went cheaper so it was like perfect when i went to buy it came with i don't know these little like papers to put behind them i guess oh to stick it on okay oh it's like a I probably won't use this. <laughs> it's like a border if you want to put it around the photo, but I like just the plain photo. Came with a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. I didn't even realize it came with this much. Okay. Came with a little mini photo album. So cute. Definitely use that. This is cool. It's like a lens cover, so it'll change like the view and colors. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to look at all this, but more like little covers. Maybe I'll give some of this stuff to Aaliyah because I know she has the same camera and she'll like this little crafty stuff for, for her friends and whatnot. Oh, these are like stickers if you wanna put them on the camera. And then, oh, it comes with like string and little clips if you wanna make like a string thing. Okay, I'll give those little accessories to Zane's little sister. Here's the case. Oh, perfect. Yay! So little and cute. So this is the 11 from what I looked up. This is like the most recent one like the newest model oh my god adorable it's just smaller it's more handheld it's more convenient i think the film is even cheaper than the other one so the other one was great though don't get me wrong worked fine and i literally only used it once at the cabin i actually brought it in the box to the cabin opened it and i was like oh 
this is not the one that I wanted. It was my fault. And by the time I realized it was like way long after Christmas, so we couldn't return it. So that's why I'm gonna sell it. Anyways, very cute. So this is a case, camera's in there, little strap. And that's that on my haul of recent things that I've gotten. I just put in the batteries in the film. Let's make sure that it turns on and works. Where is the on button? <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, I can see because there's a little mirror on it. Oh, I can take a selfie. Who wants to be in the picture? All three of you? <laughs> they all three came running. Who knows if this is even gonna work? Oh, hi, mama. Say cheese. I think I did it. Oh, I was supposed to take this picture. <laughs> okay, Bella, that was a mess up. Mommy was supposed to take this off. Oopsies, that was a test. Come back. She just wants to eat dinner. That's why she's distracted. I just looked at that camera as if I'm vlogging on this. Oh, I should have snapped. It took too long. Oh, I did it now. <laughs> what are you doing? I guess I could have just picked a picture of the cats. I didn't have to be in it. I'm so excited for this to develop. Also, my other ones that I tried using, I started to write the date on them in Sharpie and I just didn't like the way that it looked. So these I'm gonna leave plain and when I put them in the book, in the book you could write the date next to it. And then I think to close it, you just Close the lens. Oh, and it says back here how many are left. It has a little counter. It's starting to develop and it's so cute. Is this a myth? That shaking it doesn't do anything or it ruins it or something? Aww. Get your little nosy out of here. Bella wants to eat dinner so bad. But Zane's just finishing something up, so she has to wait. Look, she's gonna go in there and meow at him. You yelling at daddy? Are you looking at her? Uh, no, I just have my video up, but I can see her now. No, look at her. Oh, she came out. You just appeared. I didn't even know you were there. Okay, jawline. My jawline looks good in this picture. It's starting to get there. Oh, Bailey. <laughs> no, I was starting to have a little bit of doubts in my Kybella, but looks pretty good. <laughs> I do feel like I could have done one more treatment of Kybella and it would have been useful, but it's so expensive and like it doesn't guarantee like that it works, but I am happy that I did the two. Should I take one of you, Benj? I can't tell if it's fully developed or not. It's kind of funny, I don't know if you guys can tell from here, but my head made like a shadow on the door, so it looks like my hair is gray here, but that's not my hair. It's just like a shadow of my face, I think. It looks funny. I'm gonna put it in my book, let me show you guys. This is my little shelf of camera stuff. I also have my mini printer, which I'm obsessed with. I still use that. Um, that's good for like iPhone photos that you wanna print. And these are, oh, these were from Aaliyah's camera. And then these are like the bigger Polaroids, which are nice, but I only need the mini ones. Like I don't need ones that are this massive, but these are all for my cabin trip. <laughs> so this is what the other Polaroid prints. They're nice. This is the book my sister got me. It holds 120 of them. And it's so cute. And then you can take your little Polaroids and they slide right in there. And then you can write on the side, like the date or whatever you want to write. I don't want to get lost in just digital photos. I definitely want to have some, you know, photos like this for our kids to look back on one day. So cute. Here's the comparison, by the way. This is the original that prints like the large size. It's just not travel friendly. It's huge, but it still is a great camera. It's just this is much more fitting for what I want it for. Okay, so surprise, surprise. I am leaving for a train into New York City in like less than an hour. I'm snacking on these Trader Joe's mozzarella balls. We're having dinner right when we get into the city, so I don't want to eat too much because it's like soon, but I needed a little snack. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just a little city girl lately. I feel like I'm going in like at least once a week, but the train makes it so easy. But yes, Broadway is sending, if you guys watched a few vlogs back, I just told my mom about it. But tonight's the night we're going to see Tina. It's about Tina Turner on Broadway. And my mom's been wanting to see the show and I'm really excited. So that's where we're gonna go tonight. We got reservations at a sushi spot. I'm really excited for that. I've been wanting sushi so bad. Funny enough, I was just talking to my friend Fran too and she was saying how she might go see a show with her parents um, tonight in the city. And I was like, oh my God, like let me know what show. We'll meet up and say hi, whatever. And she ended up getting tickets to Tina. So we're going to the same show. Pretty funny. I'm not cooking. That's Zane, by the way. That was pretty ironic that I just told that whole spiel and then there's a pot of water boiling behind me, but Zane is making himself some pasta. He is going to tennis. My dad's dropping us off the train station. Zane's gonna pick us up later. And right now I'm gonna pick an outfit. I wanna get dressed and then I want to maybe film like one or two or three TikToks and then we'll head out to the train. 
forte. Alrighty guys, for outfit, I think I'm gonna go with my tried and true boohoo pants. These are comfortable and flattering, and but like they look a little more dressed up than like a legging or something. They like they look like pants or like jeans rather, you know. But they're like super stretchy. I just put on the bandeau from Soma. Literally fits amazing. And I'm gonna wear this shirt. I've worn this a few times, but I wanna make TikToks in it right now. And it's too cold to get pictures in the city anyway. And I'm gonna be wearing a jacket because I've already posted pictures in this on Instagram. This is just the way my brain works, but I know it looks nice. So we're gonna go with this shirt. I really like it. Literally from Forever 21. Oh, hi, Belle. Come on. Hey, come on. This is such an awkward spot. Oh, there we go, okay, new fit. Gonna tie the back, love this shirt. And I feel nice and secure. Okay, don't really need a bra with this shirt, but I figured since it's cold, <laughs> we'll put an extra layer so we don't get no outlines, you know what I mean? Put on some deodorant. I should have done this before I tied my shirt. Okay. And do we wanna wear Valentino or Billy? What's the vibe? Vanilla or like, Professional. I always get compliments when I wear Billy, but I've gotten compliments with this one too. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with Billy, honestly. I'm feeling the vanilla warm winter vibe. Okay. And I'm thinking we need some more dramatic earrings, or not dramatic, but like bigger earrings. I need to fix my lipstick. <coughs> Bless me, Bells. That was kind of crazy, huh? We are right on time. Let's do classic Alyssa giant hoops. Can't go wrong. And I'll put on lip gloss. And I gotta switch my purse, pick a jacket. Okay, let's do this TikTok thing. Oh, there's a mess in here. Just got done, I think, like three potential TikToks. So that's good. I didn't have time to make any more, but this is the fit. Fur 21, boohoo. These shoes are from Princess Polly. They're super old, so I'll link something similar. They're just like a super low heel, but they're pointed toe, so I like the way they look. And my Abercrombie jacket, I'm probably gonna be cold. Princess Polly purse. And they wanna bring gloves. I'm gonna bring gloves, but that's about it. Let's go. Back at home, everybody. It is 1.36 in the morning. I just brushed my teeth and put my retainer in. Um, had a lovely night. I'll give you a quick rundown. The spot we went for dinner, it was called Haru, Haru Sushi? Haru? Haru? I think it was Haru. It was good. Like, it was delish. It just wasn't, like, my favorite thing in the world. You know, it wasn't, like, mind-blowing, but... It was yummy and the customer service was great and they were quick and it was a big restaurant so really no complaints it just wasn't like you know blow my mind oh my god everybody has to go here but it was good does that make sense that makes sense we were supposed to get like crazy rainstorm today but thank god it held up so we were able to walk from the uh train station to the restaurant we were able to walk from the restaurant to our venue and the show was so good the girl that played tina was like so energetic like wow she must be exhausted right now like i feel for her she did so amazing by the way those clips that you saw at the end we were told to film like we could film like the people at um the theater told us that the company that sent me told us to film like the curtain call at the end and she did like a little mini concert that we were all allowed to film uh, so i just want to make that clear so that you guys are not like Alyssa, why did you film a broadway show i would never do that then we left the show and it was so hard to find a lift because it was a friday night at 11 p.m when i tell you guys it was probably the coldest i've ever been it was so freaking cold outside the wind chill it said that the feels like was 17 but the wind was making it feel colder. It was literally freezing and my dumbass did not even think to bring a beanie. I don't know why my brain was like gloves or a scarf. I was like I'll bring gloves because I'd rather wear gloves. I like didn't even think of a hat but my head was so frozen. I think I'm still defrosting honestly. <laughs> like hurt so bad but I had to pay like a few dollars extra to get like a priority lift it was called and that ended up working. So we finally got a ride to Penn Station because there was no way I was walking in that freezing cold. Oh my god it was so 
cold. But that was that, and then my mom and I went to a little uh, place in Penn Station, got a little wrap and chips, and we enjoyed our train ride home. Zane picked us up, and here we are. So, I had a lovely night. Sorry that this vlog was kind of all over the place. I don't know, I like fell off these last few days, but we're getting back into the routine. It is the weekend, and we're gonna reset. I will film a real Sunday reset this week. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm gonna catch up on a few things, and then Sunday, we're gonna like do a really good Sunday reset. I'm like so excited for it, so look forward to that. Sorry, I've been slacking on those. Also, before I end this vlog, I don't wanna go without saying anything about what is happening in the world right now. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine from the gym. She has family and friends that live in Ukraine, and it's so sad. It makes me angry. I hate war. I hate fighting. I hate that people are killing people. My heart is broken, so I'm going to leave some resources for you guys. Um, even donating just a dollar would help them. And I just pray that this stops. And I pray that people don't keep getting killed. And I pray for peace. And if any of you guys live there or have any friends or family or anybody that you know in Ukraine, I'm praying for you. Um, I will leave resources, like I said. It just, it's so, so sad. So please go check that out in the description. It would mean the world to me if you guys could do that. And that's that on that. Sorry to end the vlog on, on a sad note, but I had to um, say something about that. So I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Two teaspoons of what is going on with my sweater? Look, like I have football shoulders. Oh. No. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. This next one I have in white. No, this is white. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh Oops, sorry, bench. Just stepped on. Rude. Y'all rude. We've got a little bit of commanders. They sent me stuff. Can you guys not fight? You're annoying me a lot today. Get your butt out of here. Oh, maybe it's not actually. It's the right thing. Okay, shut up, Alyssa.